Hi guys and welcome Gnemon here. In this video I'll show you how to properly apply enchantments to items with an anvil. So what's so hard about it? It's because if you use it in a straightforward way you'll be very limited in terms of the number of various enchantments you can put on one item, which is 6. And with this method, if the game had enough enchantments you could apply to one piece of gear, you could be able to add more than 30 various enchantments to it. Obviously, it is now not possible, but the game gets new enchantments uh, now and then, so maybe one day. It is especially important right now, as in the most current released version at this moment, which is 1.14.2, it is possible to mix different protection enchantments on one piece of armor, which became a great new idea as of 1.14 proper, but it will no longer be a great idea in 1.14.3, uh, coming out sometimes next week. So you might as well use it while you can. So, when applying enchantment to a tool or a piece of armor, the game prices that combining operation based on the level of the enchantment as well as its rarity. So, for example, efficiency has one point per level, things like fortune is two, and uh, silk touch, for example, is four points. As a very rare enchantment, although there is only one level you can apply it from it. But this cost is constant for a given enchantment, and it is the same regardless when we apply it. What is more important is the gradually increasing base cost of any subsequent operation. It's actually not gradual, it's exponential. For that I have prepared a number of dummy enchantments that you could apply to all the items since the game is limited with its enchantment selection for any particular item, but this would serve as a very good benchmark to show how many different enchantments we could in theory apply in survival. All of these have only one level to them and they are common in nature and have no effect, but let's assume for a moment that they actually do something and we want as many of them as possible. The first application will cost only one, the second two, the third four, and then eight, sixteen, and thirty-two. And at this point the item is already too expensive to modify. But in 1.14 you can technically apply up to eleven enchantments to boots or helmets. So how to do it? You would have to group the enchantments together in the form of a large sort of enchanting tree, where every time we merge two items together, they should have the same number of modifications or enchantments that we have applied with an anvil to them. So let's try to do it. First, you can apply one dummy enchantment to this pickaxe, as both of them hasn't been used on an anvil yet. At this point, you can count this pickaxe as our item level 2, because it has itself. An item counts as a fake zero enchantment. So you can think about it this way, and one extra enchantment, so we cannot combine it with the next book because this one had only one enchantment to it. But we can combine that book with the third book, and now we have two items that both have one anvil operations to them. And now we just need to repeat the process until we run out of enchantments. We just need to make sure that we are not enchanting two items with different number of enchantments on them. At any point we can check what is the current anvil cost of an item by placing it in the anvil and trying to rename it. So with 15 enchantments our current cost is 16. So we would be able to add new enchantment packs twice more, once at 16 and the second time at 32 levels. However, where in comes another limitation, which is the combined cost of enchantment operations, which cannot exceed 39 in survival. And if we continue with our book combining, we can see that although we are at 16 base cost, to add that book to this pickaxe, which share the same anvil cost, it's already past 39 levels. So there's some tries and errors, and with our basic enchantments, at this level we can only add 9 more. <laughs> And here we go, 39 levels, but this pickaxe is still enchantable. 
Uh, but try and error, it's only four more enchantments, so let's do it. So we ended up with 28 enchantments. Not bad, but we can still do a little better, and that's where enchantment table actually comes into play. When we enchant an item in enchantment table, its anvil cost is still zero. So we can rack up a few more enchantments by starting our anvil operations with a pre-enchanted item on enchanting table. Who knew that enchanting tables can actually be used for something? So here to speed up the process, I copied the same books we used before with the other pickaxe. So I don't need to go through the entire combining tree. So first we add the first book, then with enchantment two, four and eight. Actually, having a lower anvil cost was extremely important in pre-mending times, as lower anvil cost meant you could keep repairing the item more times. But it becomes more and more important now as well, with more enchantments that we can keep adding to the items. So now we hit the limit, we cannot add 16, so 9 more. And 4 more. And there we have it guys, 31 enchantments on one item, albeit most of them fake. So let me now change the version down because I'm already in the pre-releases and let's go back to 1.14.2 and let's enchant that helmet. So we are back in 1.14.2 with a diamond helmet and all the stuff we want to put on it. Good stuff and the garbage as well. As we can see we can group it in three groups of four and that's not too bad. I sorted them briefly so we add more expensive enchantments first because we don't want the individual cost of enchantment to be higher when anvil cost is high as well because that may exceed 39 levels, maybe, potentially. And we also we are not starting with the pre-enchanted helmet so we have this extra handicap as well. So let's do it. And there you have it guys, a fully enchanted by 1.14.2 standards diamond helmet with 11 enchantments at the same time and the current anvil cost of only 16. So you could even add two more batches of enchantments to it in the future, should anything get added to the game. So that was it guys for today, if you caught this video quickly before your game updates to 1.14.3, get the super overpowered armor while you can, or if you are upgrading your existing game yourself from some previous version, don't forget to stop by in 1.14.2 to get the sweet combined enchants. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to leave me a like, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and if you are new, subscribe for more such tips in the future. One bonus question to all of you. I already talked in the past in this channel about this method of combining enchantments on an anvil. I wonder if anybody could find that video. It's a very old one. So, see you in the next one. Bye bye.